I briefly did the dialysis at uh, KTRH before moving to this place. Uh, dialysis, um, I got to know that I have a kidney problem because I was not able to put to retain food. I could eat and vomit almost every now and then. I could eat and vomit. Sometimes we love fevers, shivers, very high temperatures. So first we thought it's malaria. Then after that we thought it's it's ulcers. I can't keep food in. Then uh, we went to a few hospitals, but when we went to Kisumu, it was when I was diagnosed with uh, the kidney problem in. Uh, 2016. So from 2016 to date, I've been doing dialysis and it's been a journey that helps you have some quality of life because you are able to do a few other things that you may not have been able to do if you are really sick. Uh, Oasis Hospital has been a good place for me as a person because of their timings. I'm able to start dialysis early in the morning by around 7. By around 11, 11.30, I'm done. My name is Leonida Nyebokimumani. I'm on a phylogenous at Oasis Specialist Hospital. I work in the renal unit where dialysis takes place. Yeah, today being the World Kidding Day, we took this day also as Oasis Specialist Hospital to celebrate it with the world so that we get to understand what is this disease, what are the, some of the causes, the risk factors, how should we uh, prevent this uh, disease from attacking us, and also the supportive care that these patients need who are already with the disease. So from what I do, we do what we call hemodialysis and dialysis. So in a day we serve like a, a total of eight to ten patients uh, in a month. We normally do uh, around forty sessions in a month. Sorry, forty sessions per a week, forty to forty-two per a week. So to cut uh, some of the causes of this hidden, the major risk factors are the diabetes. Those people with diabetes, hypertension. Those people who are obese, obesity. Mm -hmm. Alcohol drinkers, smokers, those people with heart diseases are at a high risk of kidney failure. So, and then some of those are the risk factors. And now uh, we have these other causes, uh, like for example, somebody has an accident, bleeding has occurred, and then the volume of blood, the hemogram goes down. So since the kidney, strains to work for the functioning of the body, you find that now the, 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 the risk of kidney failure or kidney injury is high. And other causes are like vomiting, uh, being dehydrated, especially those people who stay in those areas that are semi-arid areas and even arid areas. And maybe you have been exposed to somewhere where the sun and you have not taken some good amount of water you are at risk of kidney injury. And then when you vomit and uh, when even you diarrhea, you lose some ions which are very essential for our body functioning. 
So uh, through that, you find that the volume of the, uh, the, the, the once the kidney has no enough blood for it to function, because it needs 25 percent of the blood that is enabled for it for it to function, you find that this person is, is at risk of kidney injury or kidney failure. Uh, some other uh, risk factors we have had that are hereditary. It can be uh, it can be from one generation to another if you had a family from that and then um, some uh, can be through diseases or using drugs overdose like when you use even over the counter medications you have some headaches you have some pain somewhere you always go to the chemist nearby or even to the nearby um, markets to buy some drugs for your pain and then when you overuse these drugs, there you are at risk of higher kidney failure because they cause what you call intoxication of them. You you are risking yourself to into, intoxicate of those drugs. Okay. Okay. Among the plans to water, na to water a lap, you are a conya or take tests, a teacher of work, a good goal in ego, a lap from the water, nurses, a good to hear some asomo, especially some high age in ego, a good organic nurses, the water and a nectar, but especially some agana, a 